Hello everybody, welcome to Season 4 Challenge Round of 16 match. We've got Min Max Master with his Chaos here versus Jatsek and his Orcs. Uh, very confusing, don't look at what colours are everything. Um, I'm not a big fan of these yellow Orcs, they're alright, nothing special. I think it's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice colour scheme for the Chaos here. Pretty nice colour scheme, the black and the red. We're going to go with blue and red though to make things more easy to tell what's happening because for some reason the Death Eaters here are turned yellow when if you change it to red and blue they go blue because they're blue. So there you go, rather confusing. Red and blue is easier to tell what's going on. Let's go with that. I don't know what TV they are but presumably about 1600. Um, we've got some dodge on the Chaos team and some defensive on the Orcs. Also a sneaky get dirty player. No sneaky get dirty player for the chaos. I probably fancy this for the orcs, honestly. Oh, they've got to throw their movement seven. And oh, we've got a movement eight. Movement eight beast man is pretty good. Movement eight blodge beast man. Two heads. You know, like, there's a couple of claws. Three claws. The problem is though that like the defensive and the guard and all of the mighty blow basically cancel that out. I think. Low tackle bang teams. Yeah, exactly, of course. Of course, teams like Skaven and, you know, Underworld, etc. are pretty good in the playoffs. They're going to be even better next season because they're going to be resurrection for some reason. So that means those kind of teams are great for the uh, Chalice itself because, of course, people play to survive in the ladder. You know, build to survive, which means they, they, you know, they spam guard and mighty blow and everything and just make pure banger teams. Don't need to take tackle in the ladder because nobody has dodge. So, um, you know, their, ba their bash teams are meant to take, built to take on other bash teams. And then in the playoffs, they'll find themselves facing agility teams that can't die. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting cup for sure next season. Super interesting. Oh, wow, he's gone straight in here. And zero hesitation. I mean, yes, for the first round. For the first round, it doesn't matter. But after that, fighting full strength, elf teams every round. I mean, we can definitely agree that changing the rules mid-season is bad, can't we, Chuck? And then, as for how it plays out, I don't even think it's bad. I'm ambivalent to how it will play out. But it's just bad to change rules halfway through a season. Um, I don't know where they posted it or when, but they, they just did like a little thing. They were just like, oh, by the way, the playoffs are going to be res. <laughs> Which seems a wild thing to do, but they did. Okay, so he's beating him off. Interesting that he goes straight back in the middle here. I'd probably try and blitz this guy or this guy and try and separate them a bit. But, um... He's run straight back. Hmm. Rerolls for the pal. No, Christopher B. <laughs> While that's very Blood Bowl, because Blood Bowl is a stupid random game, I don't think that's a good, <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> I 
I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's what do you want from ladder, right? Well, what do you want from playoffs? What do you want from ladder? What do you want from playoffs? And in the grand scheme of things, the format of the playoffs probably doesn't matter to absolutely anybody, so it's all right, isn't it? Weird to blitz that guy when he could have just blitz this. Like, he didn't even move this fella, so he could have just blitz this one and block the other guy. Really weird. Oh, I guess because he's stand firm. Okay, fair enough. He's stand firm, so he wanted to have two chances of powering off. Oh, injured. Claws. Doing something there? No. No, mighty blow would have got that, Kaz. What you could do is you could do that randomization thing, Christopher B, but then for every every game, anyone who's got dwarves, it just automatically randoms into a uh, starting gnome team. That would be okay, wouldn't it? Dublé skulls. Jugs. Gets him off. Love to see it. You can free his player up here. Probably, you know, could have moved these guys first. But, uh, better late than never, I guess. Here is it? I guess the the orcs aren't very far in there. Oh well, they've gone nowhere. They're in their own half. But they do a movement seven carrier. One D defensive doing its job. No, I don't mind them changing them, but don't change them halfway through. Like, you can't change the rules halfway through. You just can't. You can't change the rules halfway through competition. Not in my world. He's not really getting anywhere, is it? Like, it's not looking great for the, like, you know, like, the Chaos aren't really doing anything. But, uh, I guess they're in the way and the Orcs aren't getting penetration. Yeah, I, I, I think changing the rules for each season is fine, right? A bit of variation and stuff. Wow, was that his last re Did he just re-roll that for fun? He uses his last re-roll on a greed block. I know it's the defensive one, but yikes. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> I mean, I'll say it's bad. <laughs> I'll certainly say it's bad. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the Orcs just haven't got forward, have they? They've, they've, they've dicked around all half. They've, they've been in pretty good spots. And yeah... Okay, they've got a surf, you know, but they're just not... They haven't got the penetration. 
And the ball and Mr. Throw, even though he's movement seven, it's a bit dodgy. Cheeky 1D, pal. On a stand firm are outrageous. He's followed? Okay, I guess he's got a guard there and he got the stun, but. Oof. Boy, howdy, that, that follow was a bit mental, wasn't it? <laughs> like. <laughs> like. That follow, he could have just blocked him on two dice, blocked him on one dice, and then hit the ball. I guess if he didn't, he could just dodge anyway, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, if he pals him, he can just dodge with him anyway, so. Oh, but look, he failed. He failed the block because he's got no rerolls left. <laughs> oh, instant regret for Min Max Master there. The 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 pointless greed reroll bites him in his ass instantly. Thanks, Seed Rolls. Oh. G5, but it isn't the rain. Like, his only chance is a handoff in the rain to the one guy in scoring range. That's not good. Can he reach as well? Can, oh, no, he's too far away. So that's not good, is it, to have kept him not in range? He should have been kept central so he could beat any breakaway, especially like because the curse were on top, weren't they? Chaos run top and dominating. The orc stuck in their own half. So you, you, you're afraid of a breakaway, really the only way you're going to get scored on. And he kind of let him... Uh, let him capitalise on a breakaway there. Oh, KO the defensive. Really nice. Oh, the double skulls. Punished again for that non reroll. For what? For the reroll. So I think this is turn 8. Of course, we've got no idea because. Uh, oh, wow. A vanity block there. I'm pretty sure, like, there's really no need to do that, right? Just do the handoff. He just did a block for no reason with one reroll left. Not what I would have done. I failed the animosity. Oh, no, sorry, past the animosity, failed the catch. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And, you know, okay, the double one would have failed anyway, but also that block could have been, like, a double six, right? Which would have got him a touchdown. So, it's still definitely bad to do a random block first. It wasn't as if, like, you know, that was a chaos play that was in range of scoring or whatever, if he failed the handoff. Because if he fails the handoff, well, it doesn't matter. Nobody's anywhere near him anyway. Wow. That was a bit bad for the Orcs, wasn't it? I feel like they really should have got that done. But 11 aside, full teams. Big advantage to the uh, Chaos now, isn't it? This is uh, All they've got to do is uh, deal with that defensive guy. And he should be alright with a movement 8 carrier. There is a lot of there is a lot of guard and mighty blow for the Orcs, though. But the defensive is the real killer. Oh, shit. Well, obviously, sneaky get dirty players the killer, but you know what I mean. The uh, equity differences coming from the defensive guy. 
Lovely. What a, what a, what a lovely start, eh? A blitz and a removal. Instant. Well, all of a sudden, the pendulum has swung back and the orcs are massive favourites again. Um, I mean, he should have just played the half better so he didn't have to do any handoff at all. <laughs> is what he should have done. Should have been more aggressive. You know, got more penetration, not had to do anything. Like he was in control all that half. He, he, he just needed to make penetration. He couldn't have handed off, but he could have like done a pass. Could have tried a pass, and then uh, that might have been better. You can Whoa! Any odd? You can be mine. <laughs> Flicky walking into a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> Hello, Elliot. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, Wheelstone Raiders. <laughs> Amazing game here of uh, Orcs and Chaos. Where the Orcs have actually done a lot better on defense. They've realized there's a ball on defense. They didn't really bother with it on offense. But they've got a blitz and a removal, and now all of a sudden it's looking very, very, very bad. Very bad for the Chaos. Very bad. Yeah, there's grass. It's so much better there's grass here. Comes in with a sneaky get DP. Yeah, it's looking real bad for the Chaos now, isn't it? Almost over for the Chaos. Gotta be pretty sad, haven't you, as the Chaos? Like, you know, after, uh... After somehow, like, having a chance to, uh... Well, I mean, stopping the drive. After somehow stopping the drive. Having a decent chance to hit the ball and stopping the drive to all of a sudden just not having a chance on offense. It's a bit sad. I wouldn't be very happy if I was the Chaos coach. Oh, three rolls of 1D. Skulls. Maybe he should have conserved re rolls more in the first half. I don't know what he was doing there. But, um. <laughs> there was probably a plan, right? Like, he's, he's in so much shit here, it makes sense to, like, try and do crazy things to get back. So I don't know what he was doing, but... Didn't Imagine not playing, no. Uh, Min-Max Master playing cards. Uh, Oh my god. Injured. Well. Lord Voldemort. This is almost over, isn't it? These removals. Like the chaos aren't really near the ball. <laughs> Pretty bad. How much fun he's having. Uphill. Bang on. Surely a formality for the Orcs. I mean, they do have to pick the ball up in the rain, and they have benched their thrower. But still. Surely. Surely they can't be serious. Yes, Pogba, it's, you know, with the, uh, it's with the, you know, that, that, uh, See, also, it's the it's the orcs turn, but it's showing you the these are highlighted. It's showing you the chaos is highlighted. 
it's with that bug, you know, the turn, the, with the turn bug, which, which, you know, the turn bug has gone to uh, replays as well. Yeah, orcs are really good. Orcs are really, really good. I nearly used them in Super League again. And the reason that I didn't use them in Super League was because I thought I've already qualified for the World Cup. There's nothing really on the line for the second season of uh, Super League. So I'll choose something different you know, for the stream rather than just uh, Orcs again. Looks really good. I did not pick Melbourne. I could have been a knob for now. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see on the team reveal tomorrow that there's some funny teams. Some very funny teams. I, of course, was not allowed to see them until I submitted my team. There's no shenanigans, of course. <laughs> Two so far, Dimmy. Two so far. I think we've got them all in except Monitor's team. Yeah, yeah, once I, once I submitted my team, um, J5 gave me the link. So I gave Diminelli the link. And Dimmy was about as happy as you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. The orc should really be trying to pick up the ball and score. He really doesn't like the ball, does he? <laughs> to be honest, Jatsek, he's not big on like picking up the ball and scoring touchdowns. He's just happy to bang on men's. <laughs> yeah, it's the man. Oh man. Oh man, the beast man nearly went through and got it. He's good. I mean, he's played the ball more than more than the Orcs. So the Chaos have played for the ball more than the Orcs have. <laughs> That's amazing, Chumpy. He blitzed with that guy and then just dodged and picked up with the other guy. Oh, man. Well, he's dodging with everybody. Yep, he's just literally dodging with everybody. Wow. Fails the dodge in. And that's game over. Jesus. It's not 100% it's not over, but... I'm surprised that he did the dodge in, honestly, because he's got some stand firm guys, so he could, like, blitz and base his stand firm and then, you know, try to force the score in and score back or whatever. But fair enough, just go for the 4 plus, and if it doesn't work, it is what it is. He's got wrestle, hasn't he? So. It was a decent shot. <laughs> Chunter playing rats, Zebra playing lizards, Jimmy playing orcs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Z. I don't know why I said Z instead of Z then, by the way. <laughs> what came over me? I went, I went all American. These are kind of OP, yeah. Less so in progression with this rule set. But, um, in, in that style, they're still pretty OP, aren't they? Especially with the nerf to uh, Underworld. It makes them a bit better. Injured! Okay, well there you go. What a win for Jace K. Um, whether that's Jace Kelleran or Jace Kargarian or Jatsek, whatever his name is, um, he's got orcs. He beat Chaos. Well done. Congrats to him. Commiserations to Min Max Master. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.